SOLIDWORKS 2021 has a huge set of new features and performance enhancements. Let's take a closer look at some of them right now. SOLIDWORKS PDM has always enjoyed a great integration with Windows Explorer. And in 2021, we do even more integration with elements of the Windows 10 interface, such as the ribbon bar. Now, while icons are cool looking, it's in the details view where the power of SOLIDWORKS PDM is released so I can see all this data about my, about my projects. And in 2021, we have this cool new thing we can do with this called column sets. So I can actually define different groups of columns that I want to show and give them names, and then the users can just change between one column set and the other, basically letting them change the lens that they're look, using to look at their SOLIDWORKS data. By the way, you can add columns in SOLIDWORKS PDM 2021 to more things such as quick search. You can add and delete and move and rename these columns as you wish in all aspects of the user experience. You can also set permissions for who can see them and which is the preferred um, default type. And in addition to that, you also have administrative level permissions to allow uh, control over who can view and modify these columns. New icons with excellent graphics and color are available when you're building out your workflows. So for all of my transitions and my states, I can have a graphic showing me kind of what that transition or state represents. Not only does this make it easier to read at a glance your workflow in the schematic form, but it also translates down into the user experience too. So they have a graphic uh, reference as to what state things are in. For example, this part here is in a cost engineering state, and I need to make uh, a, re a redo, a redesign of this thing. Now, when you do something like that, you're gonna wanna know what part, what that part is using and where it's affected. And now in SOLIDWORKS PDM 2021, we can make use of the wonderful treehouse view that we've had as a separate application for a long time. So here I can come in and see in a schematic way my part assembly and drawing relationships. And I can print these out. I can export this even with graphic thumbnails as part of maybe the change notice documentation. I'll do a multi-select here and check all this stuff out. And then kind of fast forward, I've redesigned that single part into a part that got uh, multiple bodies in it, so there's you know, the aluminum plates, and that's represented as a weldment in SOLIDWORKS. Now, we have also much better control and, and uh, transparency with um, things in the SOLIDWORKS UI that blow down into the calculated bill material. For example, if I exclude something from the cut list, that'll be reflected in the calculated bomb on the PDM side. In addition, we handle other things in the same way, such as derived components or mirrored components, things of that nature. All that is represented um, more, um, more readily in the calculated bomb. So we take a look at this configuration in SOLIDWORKS. You can also do things like promote a configuration, which will move it up um, in the, in the um, tree level uh, in SOLIDWORKS. And you can see here that as we look at these bombs and compare the different versions that those changes, all those changes on the SOLIDWORKS side that give the user those flexibility to make those changes in structure are all reflected properly in the PDM calculated bomb. In fact, in addition to all these user interface and usability enhancements, PDM itself is a lot faster in, across the board in a number of different categories and operations. Uh, look at the what's new uh, PDF file for the nitty gritty on this, but you're gonna notice that using PDM in general is just a lot faster uh, when you go to SOLIDWORKS PDM 2021. So that's just some of what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2021. To find out more, go to www.gsc-3d.com today.